This is the Falcam Maglink Shoulder Pro, and this detaches from your camera just within seconds, and it reattaches to your camera within seconds as well. And you're probably wondering if it's secure. It's very secure. Let's talk about it. So Peak Design has been my go-to when it comes to camera straps since 2018, mainly because of how innovative they were when it comes to putting straps onto your shoulders, because they were the first ones to create this system right here, which are the anchor straps, which detach just like that. So don't get me wrong, I, I still love Peak Design. It's just that I'm always on the lookout for new gear and innovations, and that's exactly what Falcam has done with the Maglink Pro system right here. So Falcam has completely revamped the system by using magnets. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a magnet right here that hooks onto the buckle over here. So to release it, all you need to do is just pull up on this little little string here, and then it, it detaches. But don't worry, it's very secure because unless you want the buckle out, it's not gonna come undone, okay? So let me show you once again. This is my Sony a7 IV. So there's a chance that I might drop it, but I'm not scared because I trust the Falcam system. Even if I tug on it like this, it's not gonna come out because the only way to detach it is you really have to intentionally pull this tab right here and it easily comes undone. And to put it back, all you need to do is just put the magnets together, this one and this one, and it just attaches just like that. And it's once again secure. So one more important factor, which makes me like the Falcam Maglink Pro shoulder strap more than the Peak Design is the wider shoulder pad. So this right here is leather, but at the same time, it has some cushioning over here. So this helps not only with your shoulders, but with your neck, it gives a little bit of a cushion feel and it's not gonna be as painful. So it reduces the overall stress that is put on your shoulders whenever you have a camera on, especially if you're like me, who likes to use a 24 to 70 a lot or a 70 to 200. If you use those lenses a lot, it's gonna eventually hurt your shoulders. So the way I like to carry cameras is I like to carry them like this, like a little shoulder bag. In this position, I can easily remove my camera just by pulling on the tabs of the Maglink Pro system just like that. And if I want to put them back, all I need to do is just, just graze it ever so slightly. And I'm back to being connected to my strap. So one more thing I like about the Maglink Pro shoulder strap is that it is easier to operate one-handed than with the Peak Design slide light. So in, if I want to adjust the length of the strap, all I need to do is just hold my camera and just pull it down like this. And now I have a longer shoulder strap. But if I want to bring it back up, I just grab my camera and pull it back up like this. Same thing with the right side, pull it down. Or if I pull it up, it's the same thing. Let me show you how the Peak Design operates. So with the Peak Design, you have a, like a little buckle latch here, right? So if I wanted to adjust it, I would probably have to undo this first and then pull down. But the only problem is you have this effect right here. It creates like a little lump of the strap so you have to adjust that first before you can keep going. And if you want to make the strap shorter, same thing you have to can pull up, which is almost the same as that one, but this one has a little bit more resistance to it. So there's a little bit more friction when you're pulling up. So it's not as easy to adjust as the Falcam Maglink Pro shoulder strap. So one more cool thing about the Falcam Maglink Pro shoulder strap for your camera is that once you remove the strap from your camera, you're left with the strap hanging over, over your shoulders, right? This has a clever innovation wherein, remember these two have magnets, they can actually attach to each other. And now you can just wear your strap like a necklace. So you're not gonna lose your strap just in case you wanna shoot a bit lower to the ground or a bit higher because those positions will require you to remove the strap from your body, right? So with this one, you can just leave it on your, on your shoulders, just like this. And then to put it back, same thing, just reattach the maglinks. Again, these maglinks are very strong. Like they're not gonna come undone. You really, like what I said, you really have to be intentional to removing the maglinks. They're not just gonna come undone, trust me. So I was a little bit skeptical and scared to use this strap when I first got it because I'm so used to using the Peak Design Slide Light. That has been with me since 2018 and I trust it and it has never failed me. It never made my camera fall. But with this one, I was a little bit hesitant playing with magnets, but you have to remember the thing holding the weight of the camera is not magnets. It's the little link here, the little hook. It's like hooked. The only way to have it undone is you really have to pull out 
like that. So now I fully trust this strap. I've done a wedding with it. I've done a family shoot with it. And I've always put it behind my back like this. Sometimes I would even run from location to location without even worrying whether my camera will still be there. So I trust this now. In the beginning I didn't, but now I do. So there's only one con that I can think about regarding the Falcam Maglink Pro shoulder strap. So this is right now on its shortest setting, both sides, the left and the right. So it rides just here right now, just above my hip or just touching my hip. Whenever I have a shoulder strap, I always like my camera to just be a bit higher. So if I'm stowing it away behind me, it's less obtrusive. So the Peak Design allows me to pull it all the way up and these buckles can almost touch each other. So if you can see, it's a little bit higher, right? It's not here, it's over here. So that's gonna be good if you're moving from place to place. The camera is not gonna jiggle a lot. It's gonna be a lot more secure to your body. It's gonna be hugging your back a lot more. So that is absolutely the only con that I've found when using the Maglink Pro shoulder pad is the lack of ability to be able to make this shorter because of this pad over here. But then again, I'll take the, sh the comfort of this shoulder pad any day over the ability to shorten the camera strap. So again, in the beginning, I'm, you're probably gonna be skeptical when you first get the strap, but trust it, learn how to use it properly. Remember that the only way to detach it is to really pinch this with your fingers and pull it out. To put it back is very easy. You just graze both things and they're attached again. So that is it for me, guys. If you have any further questions regarding the Falcam Maglink Pro shoulder strap for your camera, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you guys out and I'll try to help you make a better decision when buying gear. So thank you guys so much for watching. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, a comment, and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.